hello again so welcome to assignment 12 so this is sort of continuation of what we did in assignment 11 so in assignment 11 we just used the the base flow separation methods to get the values for base flow and direct runoff at different timestamps in this case we are actually going to calculate the total volume for the total stream flow and how much of that is base flow and how much of that is direct runoff in this case i have actually given you all the values for base flow and this was done using the straight line method now don't use the values that i have given you here for assignment 11 because i did round up some of these numbers so let's see how we can get the total volume so this is simple geometry and math and you have done this in one of your homework problems but i still wanted to make this video so so you can come back to this whenever we are going to calculate the stream flow volume and we will be doing this uh, for quite few times when we are going to look at the unit hydrographs so to get the total volume what we need is the area under this curve so one way to do that is to divide this curve into these trapezoids i'll just use a different color here so all i'm doing here is dividing the the stream flow hydrograph into these trapezoids and then i will just calculate the area for each trapezoid so what I will do is I will just do this for the first two trapezoids and then you can do the rest. So let me start with the first one. So for this the area is going to be 160 plus 150 divided by 2 times the height or in this case it will be delta T which is one hour so instead of delta t you need 60 times 60 which is 60 seconds in 60 minutes so if you do that what you get is 558 10 to the power of 3 cubic feet so i can now write base flow volume or no that's the total volume so total volume in 10 to the power of 3 so i'll keep this blank so this will be 558 similarly let's do one more for this video and then you can do the rest so for this trapezoid this is going to be 150 plus 140 divided by 2 times 3600 and if you do that what you get is 522 10 to the power of 3 cubic feet so I'll write that down here 522 and you can do the rest okay so I have done all this and the total volume that i get for the stream flow hydrograph is so q total that i get is 9.6 10 to the power of 6 cubic feet okay so this is how we got the the volume for the total stream flow which was to divide the entire hydrograph into these trapezoids now to get the base flow all you have to do is you have to remain under this line so what i can do is i can remove all these other lines and maybe use a different color so here we are going to get the area for these smaller trapezoids okay so <clears throat> you can either do this for each individual trapezoid or if you think about it there are only three trapezoids here mm, 
So if you want, you can do this for each individual or you can just do this for these three different colors that I'm showing here. I have already done that for you. So if you do this correctly, the total volume that you should get is 10 to this. 5.33 10 to the power of, oh, this should be 5.33. to the power of 6 and then to get the direct run of volume you subtract base flow from the total flow and that gives you 4.27 4 10 to the power of 6 cubic feet okay so this is how you will get the the volume for the total stream flow, base flow and direct runoff. Now just by looking at this figure you may wonder why we, why we are getting higher volume for a base flow even though the area is small. Remember we started at 50 here not 0. So if I had plotted this from 0 the base flow area is actually bigger than the direct runoff volume area okay so that's why our base flow number is higher than the direct runoff volume so this is the volume in cubic feet i have also asked you to get the equivalent depth if the watershed area is two square miles so to do that all you have to do is so let me just do this for q depth so we had 9.6 10 to the power of 6 so that's the volume you divided by area our area is 2 square miles and each mile is 5 to 80 feet so because we have square miles I will do this two times 5 to 80 and if you do that the number that you will get is 0 0.172 feet okay so we are talking about water depth here um, so we usually do that in inch or centimeter so I'm going to convert this feet into inches by multiplying it by 12 and if you do that we end up with approximately 2 inch of water or in this case total stream flow depth and if you do the same you will get base flow depth of approximately 1.1 inch and then the direct runoff depth of approximately 0 0.9 inch okay so this is how you can calculate the volume under this hydrograph both in terms of cubic feet or meter cube if the unit was in meter cube per second and also you can get the equivalent depth if you know the area okay so remember this uh, method there is another page here in your assignment 12 so in this case i have given you base flow values by using the the variable slope method so go ahead and do the same calculations or similar calculation and get so in this case q total is not going to change which is 9.6 10 to the power of 6 cubic feet your base flow value will change um, so base flow total will change so that's something that you have to calculate and direct runoff total will also change which is something that you will calculate the reason I wanted to give this additional problem to you was to see the change in base flow volume when you use a different technique so what you have done here in problem number one is to use the straight line method and this is the volume you got this is the depth you got now do the same for this numbers which was uh, which were calculated using the variable slow method and see what values you get for the volume for both base flow and direct runoff both in terms of cubic feet and also in inch and you can do these calculations on your own by using 
what we did for this problem. So I hope you were able to follow all my calculations and if you have any questions feel free to email me and this is it for assignment 12 so all the best and i'll see you in the next video thank you and bye